The internet is full of bro science, fake knowledge, half information or propaganda. Your quest of reliable, authentic health information ends here. So subscribe this channel and hit the bell icon and you never have to go anywhere else ever again. Hello everyone, how are you today? I'm Dr. Paramjeet and you're watching Dr. Education. As you know, we make videos about health and healthcare topics and today we are going to talk about ringworm, fungal infection on the skin. That's that's called, ringworm is not a worm, it's a fungal infection. It's also called teniasis. So why it happens, what are the causes, what are the tests, what is the treatment, what is the symptom? Everything will be covered today. It's very, very common, especially in developing countries. Don't go anywhere. You need to see this and share this video. So let's start. So a skin infection of fungus can happen on various areas like scalp on a beard of the man's groin area it can have in the groin area it's called jocks itch we have a different video for that it can happen between the toes that is called athlete's foot we have a different video for that so fungi uh, are basically germs fungus what is a fungus fungus are germs that can live on dead tissue dead tissue of the hairs of your nails of your outer skin layer they can live over the dead tissue so ringworm is a fungus and ringworm is basically a mold like fungus called dermatophytes right so ringworm can is very common in children but it can occur in any age at any age of or to all people in males and female and these fungi actually thrive in warm and moist areas ringworm can actually infect you and you are more likely to get infected if you have wet skin if you have wet skin for a long time such as if you have a lot of sweat if you have uh, minor skin and nail injuries very minor injuries then you have higher chances if you do not bathe or wash yourself or especially of your hairs very often then also you can have this infection if you have close contact with other people who have a uh, fungal infections such as in sports and wrestling then also you can have a ring infect uh, ringworm fungal infection and this can spread easily you can catch it if you come in direct contact with the area of the ringworm of someone else's body if you also you can also get it by touching items that have fungi on them such as clothes combs uh, pool pool surfaces, shower floors and even walls. Yes, you can actually contact them very easily. And ringworms can even spread by pets. Cats are very common carrier. Cats, even dogs can carry them. So what are the symptoms, right? A rash will happen. A rash begins in a small areas like a red raised spot with a small with small pimples rash can slowly become ring shaped with a red raised borders and clear center clear center the border may look scaly right uh, the rash may occur on the arms on the legs on the face on or other exposed body areas exposed body areas and the area can be itchy right so what how we uh, what are the tests how you can diagnose it your doctor will most often diagnose ringworm by just looking at it you don't need tests but sometimes you can also go for tests tests like examination of the skin scrapping from the rash can be seen under the microscope using a uh, special tests uh, koh mounts then skin cultures can be done skin biopsies can be done for the uh, fungal then treatment see most important thing in treatment is to keep your skin clean and dry very very important right you can use antifungal creams to treat fungal infections creams might contain various things like meconazole clotrimazole ketoconazole terbinafine then something called as oxyconazole and other antifungal medicines are also very effective in controlling ringworms you can buy some of these creams over the counter you don't need a prescription you can just go and ask for an antifungal cream and see the name right then to use these medicines there is a way it's very very important you need to first wash 
and dry the area first and then apply the cream cream should be applied beginning outside the area of the rash and then moving towards the center be sure to wash and dry your hands afterwards right use this cream twice a day for 7 to 10 days and do not use a bandage over the ring term no don't use a bandage over your doctor can prescribe you medicine to take by mouth if the infection is very bad right children with ringworm can return to school once the treatment has started to prevent the infection from spreading you need to wash clothing towels and beddings in hot soapy water and then dry them using the hottest heat as recommended by your uh, by the care label of the clothing right uh, then use a new towel and a washcloth every time you wash a new fresh washed towel can be used clean the sinks and bathtub and even the bathroom floor well after each use yes that's the recommendation and wear clean clothes every day and do not share your clothes if you play contact sports then shower right before and afterwards it's very important right then infected pets infected pets should also be treated your cats and dogs right because this is because ringworms can spread from animals to humans by contact See, you don't have to worry, ringworms often go away within four weeks when you're using an antifungal creams. It takes four weeks and the infection, but the infection may spread to the feet, scalp, groin or nails. What are the complications? Possibly there are only two complications of ringworm. Skin infections from scratching too much, you can have, you know, other bacterial skin infections and other skin disorders that can happen because of uh, which can require further treatment because of again chronic fungal infection so it's important for you to get rid of this and before you get uh, if your self-care is not helping then go to a dermatologist remember ringworm is the is is a fungus on your skin you need to treat it it's not so difficult any kind of local uh, locally available antifungal cream with meconazole clotramazole ketoconazole terbinafin oxyconazole will help so don't worry take care of yourself and share this video so others can take care of themselves as well i'm dr paramjit you're watching dr education stay connected stay healthy